Hi guys, um, for the uh, summary of Glengoyne 18, skip to about uh, 12 minutes 45, um, and then the brief summary will be there for that. Cool, well, I'll see you at the end of the video. Oh, hi there. Um, Sorry, you, you caught me in the middle of some of my daily reading and classical music that helps ease my stress. Anyway, now that you're here, it's time to do a whiskey review. And this time, we're going to one of my great value for money whiskies. <laughs> You can see it, can't you? <laughs> it's nothing like talking about somebody when they suddenly appear. There we go. He's been there the whole time, hasn't he? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, Glen Goyne. <laughs> or as some people pronounce, Glen Goyne. Making the Y sound like an I. Or Glen Gone. I prefer the pronunciation of Glen Goyne. Um, unhurried. Since 1833. You don't have to read the whole thing. Just Glen Goyne. Um, 18 year old. You know. I mean. She's going to be gorgeous. Robbie Hughes. Distillery manager. Orange pen. Must have run out of blue on the day. Orange is fine. I don't mind. Now there is a bit of a description there in the front. But I don't want to see that. Because that will influence... My view, what I'd rather do is develop my own view and then go from there. There's a few nice bits and pieces on the back as well. A few other signatures as well. This one comes in at 43%. The lid, sounds like that when you take it off. Solid. And there we, oh wow, okay. Has someone been helping themselves? What's going on here? Right, well, I see how this is. Okay, noted. Lovely packaging, nice bottle, lovely colour. Let's see what the colour looks like. Sorry, glass is slightly out of my reach. <laughs> Not Mr. Tickle, you know, I'll just stretch. Let's see what the glass looks like when we pour into here. I said the glass looks like, I meant the colour. So we'll pour her in. Three, two, one, in she goes. Trippity drap, good size serving. There we go. And leave that there to breathe for a minute. So I'm gonna go over what I get tasting wise for the nose, the palate, and then the finish. And see what we get. Um, the colour is fantastic. We're looking at amberwood rose gold kind of colour. Yeah. That looks great. She is beautiful. And 18 year old. The legs on that are fantastic. What? No darling, I'm doing a whiskey video. Yeah, I know, no. The legs is in No, that's the age of the whiskey. I'm recording. Okay. I'll, I'll carry on. Cheers. Can you shut the door. She's a lovely 18 year old. Whiskey. Okay. So now let's delve into this with some of the nose. Very much looking forward to trying this again. Bring back some of the old memories. Oh, interesting story for you. First distillery I ever did a tour at. Mmm. Glen Goyne. First one. Oh, so we're getting um, 
fresh fruit. In particular, almost like apple. Really ripe apple. A bit of pineapple. Maybe some banana. Toffee. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just the excitement. Um, a slight hint of cinnamon. And at 43%, I personally don't find the need to add water to this one. Hey, this is my view. Do your own. See if you want to add water to it. The main note you pick up on and you have to kind of ignore as you're going along with this is, in my view, the sherry. The sherry's there, but it's a very warming sherry, but there is more to this. Um, I quite like how well balanced this one is. Mm. But the pineapple, the apple, the toffee, almost like brown sugar, toffee apple. Write that down. Although it's not getting stuck in my teeth, you know? The benefits of whiskey. Too many to count. Now let's move on to some of the palate. We'll go back to the nose in a minute. I don't know if you got that. I was saying, it's not always the case with whiskey. This is the first time you've watched a whiskey, uh, whiskey review. You're welcome. But <coughs> this is like a to be continued from the nose, but it, it follows on very nicely with the palate. We're getting all the, the fruitiness from the palate continuing, uh, from the nose continuing into the palate. But then there's like a bit of a nutty hazelnut um, addition that will surpass what we were getting with the uh, the fruity notes. There's definitely more in there. I'm going to go for this again. Let's have a real exploration day with this one. Just conscious of time as well. I get told I talk too much. My dog and my puppy also, I'm conscious of them. I'm getting as well now on the nose, a bit of apricot. I think it's apricot. Let's try a bit on the palette and see what else we get. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And that, for me, is why it's so worth the money that you pay for it. Or, or if you don't pay for it, you know, mum, dad, get me a gift. Um, sorry, back to the palate. When I was um, tasting that, nosing it at the same time, I got... Um, marmalade. So bits of marmalade coming out now as well. Oh, such a nice finish to it as well. Finish medium to long. The the 
the tasting notes as well, I mentioned a bit of nutty. It's almost like a hazelnut kind of chocolate. You think of a dairy milk hazelnut chocolate. Um, bit of marzipan. Nutmeg. Did you know you can get high on nutmeg? It's true. Don't ask me how I know that. I just know you can. Um, yeah, back to the finish. Um, spicy flavours. Very pleasant spicy flavours. Think of spicy fruit peel. That's the kind of um, the kind of finish I'm getting from there. As I said, medium to long in length. It's a very warming finish. <laughs> warming. Um, you can imagine that on a cold day. Or has it been today a hot day? Well, you wouldn't know that. Depends where you're from, where you are, what you're doing, you know? I uh, want to talk a bit about what this goes well with. Because there's whiskey for every occasion. And every whiskey can be enjoyed. You just need to know how do I enjoy that whiskey. So, this goes well. If you're having a, like a cheese and wine night, I've said this before a few times. You coming up? Up you get. Come on. Come on, up you get, come here. No, he wants to play. <laughs> Not the time. It's people. I can make him come up. Oh. Come on then, up you get. Oh. Putty in my hands. I don't do endorsements, but pet munchies. Bring out the happiness in pets. No, I'm joking, there's nothing there. Look, I just, I just had that there to control them. And it hasn't worked so far. Like, you can back down, mate. I'm trying to do a review here. Yes. Uh, what does it go with? So cheese and wine night. Say no thank you to the wine. And no thank you to your regular cheese. Pour yourself a Glengoyne 18 and say, have you got any young goat's cheese? Max said, try it. You'll thank me one day. Uh, apple crumble. Uh, and the other one that was suggested to me a while back, which I've only recently done, is roast dinner. You know, all the roasted parsnips. and I, I love roasted parsnips. They're my favourite. But yeah, roast dinner. Genuinely. It really well. Surprised me. I was like, nah. Yeah, yeah genuinely. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so, oh, summary. Yes, summary. Brief summary. Uh, so, with regards to the Glengoyne 18 year old, uh, when you're nosing this, you'll get some very fruity, uh, fruity notes to it. In particular, a ripe apple, a bit of pineapple. Uh, it was. I said toffee apple, didn't I? Yeah, toffee apple. So, ripe apple, there was toffee, it's like brown sugar. Then I went, ah, toffee apple, and I made a little joke there. And if you missed it, you should have watched the whole video. It was hilarious. Uh, da, 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 da. And then going back to it, there were bits of apricot. It was hints of cinnamon as well. From there, I went straight into the finish. Jokes. I didn't. I went into the palette. Uh, on the palette, it was almost like a to be continued from the nosing. What you got there picked up again on the palette carried forward but was surpassed by some nutty notes and we're talking nutty as in like hazelnut bits of chocolate um ah, yeah, when i was nosing it and drinking at the same time that's when i led on to marmalade paddington bear's favorite whiskey um Bits of marmalade, what else was there? Mmm, tasting, tasting. Ah, yeah, marzipan, nutmeg. And then I said, oh, yeah, of course, you can get high on nutmeg. Did you know that? Don't ask me how I know. Anyway, finish, medium to long, quite fruity, very warming. It was a warming finish. Uh, and it left that nice little spiciness to it in the mouth. Uh, then I said, what did it go well with? And then I went on to the summary, which I'm just finishing now. So there you have it. Glengoyne, 18. Thumbs up. Great whiskey. 
Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that whiskey. I will be continuing this 18-year-old um, very shortly. Uh, don't forget, you can, oh, you can follow me on Twitter. Whiskey Bloke. Uh, you can subscribe. You should really subscribe. Won't hurt you. I won't charge you to subscribe. Just make me feel nice. Um, don't forget you can comment. Don't forget you can request different whiskies. Get a conversation going between us. If you think, ah, oh, this whiskey goes great with that, mention me on Twitter and tell me about it. You never know. I might just mention you in my next video saying so-and-so says... If that's your name. If your name's not so-and-so, I'll say your actual name. This one goes well with that one. With these foods. Um, yeah. So, there you have it. Great whiskey. Great company. Rex and Pugsy. Uh, that's me done. Alright, I'll see you in the next video, guys.